Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss the regional selectivity of the bio-vinegar oxidation. Um, so in my previous video on this reaction, number one, I had a typo in the name of the reaction. I apologize to, to Villiger. Um, but uh, number two, I talked about this specific reaction, the bio-vinegar oxidation of acetone to methyl acetate. Um, and this reaction can be done uh, on all kinds of, of aldehydes and ketones. Uh, and I'm just gonna highlight one sort of really cool example. Uh, if you do this reaction on a cyclic ketone, you can get, and then you use MCPBA or, or your other favorite peroxy acid. Uh, you get what amounts to a ring expansion as you know, an oxygen is inserted in one side. And you get these cyclic esters, uh, which then could be opened up in other compounds or, or whatever you want to do. From a, from a regioselectivity standpoint, things get interesting once we have ketones that have different groups on either side. So when methyl ethyl ketone or two butanone reacts, there are two possible products, ethyl acetate, where the oxygen is inserted on the ethyl side, and methyl propanoate, where the oxygen is inserted on the methyl side. And it turns out that this first one is the major product. And in general, uh, these reactions follow a predictable pattern uh, that has been labeled migrary aptitude. And for the most part, migrary aptitude follows a pattern that you are familiar with. I'm going to insert some things into this pattern. Uh, Migrary aptitude follows a pattern of tertiary is better than, faster than secondary, secondary is more likely than primary, primary is more likely than methyl. Right? So we had a primary group, the ethyl group, uh, moves or you know migrates more over the, the, the than the methyl group. And I wanted to present it initially to you this way because this is also the, the carbocation stability. Or at least, right. Now, it turns out that, that, you know, this order of events is somewhat related to carbocation stability, that you could envision the, the transition state of the migration, if you would, oxygen here whatever our, our here's our that as the migration is happening we are starting to form you know the carbon oxygen bond here is forming get rid of this hydrogen. This carbon oxygen double bond is forming. The uh, alkyl group is migrating over. So here is our here is our R group. And then this carbon oxygen bond here is breaking. And, in, and if this intermediate is neutral, we have a partial negative charge on the, car, the, the car, one, once and future carbonyl oxygen, partial negative charge on the uh, carboxylate anion as it's on its way out, and partial positive charge on the alkyl group as it's walking from one position to the next. Um, and so that's why there's some 
you know, interesting uh, ability here to or mirroring of the carbocation stability order. Now I'm going to add some. Uh, the carbocation never forms, so it so it's sort of uh, it can get interesting. So I'm going to it's I'm going to make it interesting by adding some things in here. I'm going to add hydrogens. Uh, go faster than tertiary, uh, and aryl, so aromatic rings go faster than primary, and that's because aromatic rings have a different kind of migration mechanism that, that I'm not going to talk about at, at the moment. But that means that I could predict an outcome for any biovilliga oxidation just by comparing uh, sub the, the substitution pattern and we'll get, let's see, uh, so here I've got cyclopropyl, that's secondary, methyl, that's methyl, and so cyclopropyl is going to win. We're going to get an insertion of the oxygen between the ketone and the cyclopropyl. We get this ester. If we have an aldehyde, then the aldehyde wins, even say or the, the hydrogen wins. Uh, because this is simply oxidizing the aldehyde through the carboxylic acid, which is relatively easy to do. Uh, and the hydrogen, because it has low mass, is easy to migrate. So this gives you just an idea of, of how you can predict the outcome and how also you could maybe use the uh, Bayer-Villiger oxidation to synthesize specific esters from specific ketones. Uh, thank you for watching.